<laughs> they're like, what the hell's going on? Like right in your, it's right ah! in your face now. It is right in my face. How's it's that? gonna eat me. Hello, old friend. Fucking texting me. I haven't Man, seen. Stop it. I haven't faced this mic like this in too long, <laughs> Reginald. All right. Okay. Now. Oh wait, did you put any hot water on? Do you read? Oh jeez, I gotta get Dana's tea going. <laughs> It's recording time, though, isn't it? Yeah, oh, that's okay. I can, do, I can multitask. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah. Dan, say something. Let me We're like really level. laid back, so. Well, when so. The sessions of sweet, silent thought. Can you hear her? Um, th- just can a little bit. Quiet? Give me a little bit for her. You want more? Just when to the sessions of sweet, silent thought, I summon up remembrance of moments past. All right. It's beautiful. I'm cranking you up a little bit. You're going to get hotter. Dana's going to get hotter. Dana. Actually, leave, uh, so, Reg, leave her right there. Now, I want you to talk real quick. Hello. My name is Reginald Batusik. All right. And I'm sitting here with a candle. Okay. All <laughs> thinking right. Thinking about life. All right. Go get the hot water. I'm going to go back and listen to this, and I'll let you know if I need to turn her up. All right. Okay. Bye. Well, when so the of sweet silent thought. Can you hear her? Um, th- oh, that's a little bit. Quiet. Give me a little bit for me. You want more? Just when to the sessions of sweet silent thought, I summon up remembrance of moments past. All right. It's beautiful. I saw I'm cranking you up a little bit. You're gonna get hotter. Actually, Dana's gonna get hotter. Dana. Actually, leave. Uh, so, <laughs> Reg, leave her right there. Now, I want you to talk real quick. Hello, my name is Reginald Batusik. All right, cool. Yeah, we're good. Sweet. Random thoughts keep popping in my head. Have you ever seen the movie Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead? Yeah, it's, it's been a long yes, time. Yes, it's an old movie, and it just popped into my head. Freaking love that movie. Um, yeah, Sleepy Time would be great. Since since the name of the episode is Forever Lazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think my microphone slipped, Reg. If it's I could wear this every day at work and everything, I would. And um, Dana and Reggie, by the way, if you're not looking at the chat room, Bronco said hi. Yeah, Bronco said Jeff. hi. Aww. <laughs> Bronco. <laughs> I miss Bronco hugs. Canadian, we love him. Bill Geek is here too. Hey, Kevin. Aww. Hi. And Zerbius is here. Oh, man. We should, we should do this at nine more often. Wow. Hey, we can if you want. <laughs> oh, wait. It's just Dana and Reggie. That's, that's Oh, that's what here. it is. Yeah. That's fine. That's it's all good. <laughs> people, people use them people as bait. probably thinking, they're still alive. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> It's proof. I we'll wish see. you guys could see my socks right now. What kind of socks are they? Well, my, my ankles are swelling, and I've... And so the only socks that I can put on at night that are comfy are these red, well, they're like, I call them my Santa elf socks because they're red, white, and green, Mm -hmm. and they're big and knitted, and they make my feet look maybe three times as big as they are. (laughs) No. But they're so cozy. (laughs) What'd you call them, Reggie? I'm sure I had an awesome (laughs) name for them. Um, so, other than Dana's uh, water on the kettle, I think we're good to on go. On lazy days when it's chilly, turning up the heat costs money, Is that us? and wrestling with... <laughs> How do I stop these effing commercials? No, that was me. That was me. I was looking at the Forever Lazy site. <laughs> I got Snickers Forever up in my lazy grill over automatic here, man. Snickers what? Sounds- I don't even want to <laughs> eat a Snickers right now. Are you all Are you all getting getting um commercials also? I think, well, that last thing, if that was you, then I think we're okay. Okay, yeah, that last thing was me. That was uh, me because I, I went to the Forever pink. Forever Lazy site. They come in all... Well, like Kevin, you just, Kevin, you just got here, so I think, yeah, when you first started, you get one. Okay. All right. I can see the chat room now. I just We're not sacrificing bandwidth. We sound pimp. Yep, you sound, sound good. Pimp and okay. pimp ass. <laughs> One, Reg. I know, 90 shame. freaking one episodes, dude. What are we at? Like, in the 30s. <laughs> we suck. <laughs> oh, we don't, we don't get paid for those ads. That's all. No, it's not us. That's stupid, all old Twitch. Whatever they get. That. That, they're <laughs> just a vehicle. They don't have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trade-off. <laughs> all right. Well, um, as we told Reggie, and you know Dana, 
this just you know a phone conversation with us with a few people around um we just gonna talk we just gonna talk it out you know what i'm saying i put the notes Reggie, you still got the notes there for right uh yeah stand by for that yeah so we just you know kind of talk about our weekend tech media food and then whatever else falls interrupt be us you want. Yeah, and that's all. Is it? That's all. Just that's like all. I just did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 that's just what we do. You, you know, so don't feel like you're talk over if you want to. So okay. Um, it's perfectly sure fine. Sure, you want to give Reggie that leeway? <laughs> I don't have to give Reggie that leeway. Reggie, Reggie will take that yes, lead. We'll take it. Always interrupting me. <laughs> oh man, we're going to get we're going to get Renee and um. Reggie on the leash or something. Mm. <laughs> we know? cannot be contained. Cannot I cannot be contained. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this show going. Okay. All oh right. my gosh. Okay. And um and you guys are gonna hear music on your end as well. So um you're gonna hear, you know, just you're gonna hear it all, you know. We straight to tape is what we is how we roll. Cool. All We're right. not scared. All right, all right then. So Renee, you ready? Yeah, I'm actually surprisingly ready. Okay, well, let's do it. <clears throat> let's get it going. Coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. It's the Valentine Cast with your forever lazy couple, Jay and Renee Valentine. <laughs> Today is Monday, January 21st, 2013. And this is episode 91. What? What? Do you know I winged the date on that one because I didn't have the notes up? And I know it's sad that, that I need the notes up to get the date right, but such is life. Really? <clears throat> Hush your mouth. All right. <laughs> Let me tell you all, we have a wonderful gift for you twice. Not Two, once. Not once, but twice. Twice. Um. We have Shakespeare's representatives. Shakespeare himself. Shakespearean. They're, they're here on the show right now. Shakespearean representatives. We have Reggie and Dana, a.k.a. Mr. and Mrs. Meliana. Hey, guys. Hey. Hey there. Hey. They were talking about us, Reg. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, who they have on? <laughs> yep. Dana and Reggie are wonderful friends uh, that we've uh, <laughs> known for a bit, and we love them to pieces, and they, they actually agreed to come on and talk with us. Yeah. The, as you all know Thanks. from the very beginning of the year, Renee said she wanted to get more guests on the show, so... That's one thing that we're going to try to do this year, get you all more guests to hang out with us, some of our friends, and some of just people that we admire. And Reggie and Dana fall in that category, and <laughs> sure enough, we are able to get them on today. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dana, a.k.a. the credentials, and, AKA, and, and Reggie, <laughs> a.k.a. the color, they live <laughs> in Colorado, and are their co-host of the wonderful Shakespeare Sound. Oh, and of course, they co-host with Shakespeare as well. You can't forget him. Mm -hmm. uh, Dana has been professionally trained at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. And Reggie has been professionally trained in the art of love. Oh, <laughs> so <that's fair>. yeah. <laughs> and and, uh, and uh, before we start, I read something on your site that's in black and white that must be done. Reggie? From the Ministry of Shakespeare site itself, Reggie does a killer impression of Tina Turner from Beyond Thunderdome. Oh, oh no! You don't even want me to how, oh, yes. how have we never heard this? Is what I want to know. <laughs> how have we never heard this before? <laughs> Master Blaster. <laughs> Master Blaster. Master Blaster. Rules out of town. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not that killer. It's terrible. It's funny though. It's hilarious. It's I saw that movie better, for the first the more you time. Drink. 
I saw the movie for the first time, like what, like a year ago or something like that. Yeah, I showed it to you for the first time. Jay, Jay, is, I was like, "What? You haven't seen that?" Because I haven't seen a lot of it. So, so Renee was well, sheltered. I wasn't sheltered. No, <laughs> no, no. You are older than me. Is what you forget? I wasn't allowed to watch. You know. But my brothers and them saw Mad Max and anyway. Dun Dun. And and Dana can also juggle three small oranges. Tr- truly, really. <laughs> Very small oranges very small. and uh, not very many cycles of it either. <laughs> Nectarines. How much you can do? Oh, oh cuties. The cuties. cuties. Oh, the cuties. The cuties. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, cool. So we're glad to have them. They uh, bring some class to the podcast. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us. I mean, no, 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 no. We are. The honor is all on this end. Absolutely. The blessing falls upon us. Yeah, there was no agreeing to come on. Yeah. It was like, yay, they'll have us? Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're just stoked. We can't wait. Yep. <laughs> yep. And um, you can find their podcast, um, Ministry of Shakespeare, at ministryofshakespeare.com. You can find it on iTunes. And I'm telling you, they, if you're like, oh, it's Shakespeare, I don't want to hear anything about it, oh. I would tell you. It is. It, they break this down. To the point where a country boy from Mayberry, the only black fan of TMS. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, you can't so much hate. I'm going to get some more hate for that. Um, can break it down to, to appreciate Shakespeare. Not saying I didn't appreciate Shakespeare before, but mm. I got a new understanding and love and respect for the guy. Mm-hmm. And just hearing Dana and Reggie just break break it down, yep, is they, just awesome. They turn Shakespeare from boring to amazing. Yep. So, so. Okay. Um, are awesome. you guys ready to stop swinging off our nuts? No, so no. Swing off yours because we're here for y'all. Uh, sorry, I'm just a little starstruck. Sorry. Yep. And um, before we, you guys are precious. And, and Look at them. They're making us feel bad. We haven't recorded in a while, Reggie. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so well, well you know what? We I know matching what, pajamas. I know what you're that. doing. So I know. Sexy. There. I know what you're doing. You, you're you're holding them back so that people are like <laughs> like morsels of just like sweet sweet honey. You you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like when when one drops, it's just like mm, mm, I'm gonna savor this. Mm. So every episode of Shakespeare Sound, I'm like, mm, there it is. Hey, they are still Listen swinging. <laughs> well, I folks, do. If you haven't already been to our site, you need yeah. to just to hear these two guys do episodes. Oh, they okay. they were guests on our show um, a year or so ago, mm-hmm. year and a half, two years now. I know it was doing, Jeez, how it, long has it been? It's been two years. I think it was around football season. I, I remember yeah, that because there was a, cause there was a um, there was a college plan. <laughs> I can't remember yeah. who. They drove all the way up from Louisville to South Bend, Indiana to record with me when I was home, and it was, uh, what a blessing. And speaking of the goodness and, and the big-heartedness of this crew that's hosting us right now, I just want to say that they also drove all the way the hell up to Michigan <laughs> for our little wedding that we did this fall. Yes, that they was, did. That was a we wonderful so wedding. It was so the crazy. coolest thing that happened, I think, that whole day. Oh, yeah. I uh, loved seeing it, you guys. It was, was, it was great seeing you I, all. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Yeah. It, was, it was awesome. <laughs> and I want to say hello. Right. Good hello, evening. Fest. I want to say good evening to the chat room. Hi, chat room. We have an awesome crew of folks here. Um, Ever Studious, Fox Lore. What's up, Paul Fox? Uh, Malinor, Red Fro, Sophie, Vail Geek, Zerbius, Bronco. Just thank you all for coming out. And this and, is um, the official biggest chat room we've ever had i know it just you guys are amazing i'm and drowning in <laughs> in like love right now yep yep so th- this is a different time for us you know we always yeah. we usually do it like 6 30 mm-hmm. but it's kind of it's kind of cool doing it oh at nine a little bit but since the time change all right we'll see all right. we'll see all right so <laughs> <laughs> everybody's had their dinner and they're working on their cocktails yeah <laughs> to a point, you know. we might think about it yep yep <laughs> all right so i'm looking at the feed here Mm-hmm. Are you guys, you're in the same room, are you in the same room? Yes. Yep, we are. He's right here. Are you across from yeah, each right other? she's right there. Yep. So if we faced each other, this is what we look like. Is that that really pimp desk we saw at Ikea that one time? And mm. No, but we... We all posed but, around. <laughs> and I will say that for you, Malinor, in the chat room, I was able to get Renee's camera to turn around so when she looks to me, we look Is at it, each other. We look at each other, and it doesn't look like we're looking off to the left at something yeah. going down the street. He said, what are y'all <laughs> looking funny. for? Look yeah, at he, that. He was like, oh, look at that. He was like, what are y'all looking at when when y'all look to the left? And I was like, 
each other. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, for you, the things that I do, including. <laughs> you know, you could have just switched the feed. No, I tried the, that also. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I, I had to flip a camera. Okay. So, um. That's cool. You know. Uh, Try that, Reg. You know, again, welcome to the show and and everything and. I mean, it's just a conversation. Enjoy yourselves, and and with that, we're going to strip. We're going to strip. We're gonna and go on right into the. Oh, yeah. Yay! These later hours, you know. I was actually already naked, but <laughs> Valentine I'll take, cast. I'll, take it, I'll even go deeper. And and, <laughs> and let's go ahead and get into a little bit of weekend wrap up. The weekend wrap up. All right. So this weekend was one. Oh it wasn't gosh. a full lazy weekend for us. I'm not sure what all you did. It, it was a it was a nice weekend. Lazy. Yeah, it was. It was lazy, lazy in the Valentine household. Don't you mess that up. Yep. Um, that's we nice. We 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 played video games and watched movies and TV all weekend, and that's all we did. Yep. That's everything. So on um Friday, we pretty much ran all of our errands like Friday mm -hmm. and early Saturday, so that we could um <laughs> stay in. So we um, played Borderlands 2 all day Saturday. And, and, and all day Sunday. And all day Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and we haven't played it in a long time. Right. Because Mop came out. So right, when Mop right. came out, uh, we kind of put Borderlands 2 aside. But we're going to talk more about, about Borderlands 2 in the media section. But let's just say it was an amazing time. Right. It awesome. Definitely it was amazing. And what did, what did you guys do this past weekend? Because we absolutely didn't do anything. So... <laughs> Well, you normal people have a <laughs> regular weekend. This is our weekend. Oh, that's true. We're on our weekend right now. Okay. okay. What do you plan to do for your weekend? Let's say that. What do you plan to do? I have pirated all the screeners of all the Oscar-nominated films, and I hope we're going to watch a butt ton of them. <laughs> um, come Oscar night, there is going to be a shindig to rival, I don't know, uh, Caligula. Oh, Wow. Yeah. We go big. <laughs> we like to give out valuable prizes. Oh, nice. wow. Look at you. You bring the And there'll the be states. food and a red carpet, and I'm going to hire a Joan Rivers impersonator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't do a Joan Rivers? They're plentiful up here in the Rockies. What are you wearing, darling? <laughs> you, you don't are you do wearing? A, you don't do a Joan Rivers in, um, impression? <laughs> no. No, wait, no, I do. Um, give me a minute, and I'll come back to it. Okay. okay. I can do one. Okay. <laughs> it, it's almost as good as... Uh, Tina, it sounds just like Tina Turner. <laughs> Master Blaster. <laughs> Master Blaster. <laughs> so it's a British Tina Turner though. Master Blaster. <laughs> so I'm glad you brought this up. Well, you know what? No. I you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make a note here because I want to talk to you guys about this in media and and it is about it is about an Oscar nominee. Look at us trying to put everything where it's supposed to go. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. I, I'm I'm because I Where's know how you see? get. So, so yeah, I'm so. writing it down. But okay, so. So you're getting ready for the Oscar party. Oh, that's going to be awesome. So so do you all, so you, you have prizes for who guesses the person that wins? Like those kind of prizes? We, we print out the ballots the and, and the prizes get handed out based on who, you know, gets the most correct picks on who's winning what. Well, nobody gets left out. So Aww. we let whoever got the most guesses. Somebody walked out of here with a spatula first. last year. Shut up. <laughs> that is was it a um, spatula? Was it a rubber go to spatula? Ikea, like a silicone spatula? Inexpensive things. <laughs> I would have wanted that one. I like spatulas. Yeah. Weirdly because I got beat as a child with a spatula. So <laughs> you would think I wouldn't like them anymore, right? <laughs> See what you did to her, Mom? Oh, I got spanking. This this. Some kids got spanking, some kids didn't. Yeah. I turned. I, I think I turned out okay. You turned out great, babe. You spankings. turned out great. Right. Okay. Turned out great. So I, I can't complain. I'm not a minister to society or anything. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's Aww. number two we have in common: the spatula thing, yeah. and then the whole. You were saying you didn't get to participate in entertainment when you were younger. Um, I couldn't do anything rated R. Um, definitely PG-13 was questionable until I was like 14. Um, so I was a little sheltered. Uh, so you do say you were sheltered? A tiny bit. I, that's no, 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 what no. I said. Well, <laughs> I, I think it more is normal, and then you got to do more fun stuff I got, than I did. My dad, pretty much, I got to watch Purple Rain when I was young. 
and with, during, the, with the boobies and everything. But my dad here just look oh. over and say, "Son, cover your eyes." <laughs> <laughs> you know. That happened Cowboy? to me. I'm coming. I'm yes, coming to America. Flow. Is the water warm enough? <laughs> yes, ice flow. <laughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> yes, ice oh, flow. Oh wow, you've seen that a lot, haven't you? Dude. <laughs> that was Reggie's. Uh, his grandma actually bought him the Purple Rain uh, cassette. Yeah. Wow. A Sony Walkman on a oh, wow. magnetic cassette tape. That was an album. She had that no was... idea what she was buying him. <laughs> oh man, what was that? Um... Because, like Renee, I was sheltered too. I didn't get any of the fantasy, mm-hmm. anything with like dragons or wizards or so, whatnot. So, so Reggie, I have to say. Banned. I have to ask, when the first time you heard Darling Nikki, what, what was your response? Um, well, it was, a, it was a really weird time. My parents had just got divorced. I was 11 years old, and I got throttled into my dad's newfound Jehovah's Witness church. Mm. And a thing that they had going on was really kind of anti-masturbation. Right. And so when they talked about, you know, she's masturbating with a magazine in the lobby, um... <laughs> Mm. They didn't go over well, did it? <laughs> well, you know, again, it was headphones, but right. it it instilled in me as rebellion will kind of uh, become part of you at that age. Right, right. Um, it instilled in me a affinity for masturbation that I still hold to this day. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a family show? I, or? <laughs> are we? We're fine. We're on the edge, right? Yeah, we're, <laughs> it is a natural thing. It is it is healthy right. to masturbate, right. so it's fine to talk about. Right, right. So, I mean, kids, talk to your parents about it. Yeah, or, 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 That's right. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and they can... Like going on here. <laughs> and, um, Look at Jay just doing a little PSA there. You know, uh, you know, you just have to get your folks, um, you know, take on it and everything else. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but if you wanna, if you want a little bit more information about that, you can um, just go over to Ministry of Shakespeare and go to contact, <laughs> and um, you can fill out that nice little oh, form wow. there. <laughs> I would love to see their inbox and all this. Why do we have all these questions about <laughs> masturbation? <laughs> so I have to ask, a great. Um, scholars and representatives of uh, Shakespeare. Does he have a sonnet about masturbation that that includes <laughs> he's, masturbation? He's six of them, actually. He what? There's there's a handful. Really? Oh wow. That is awesome. We'll that have is, to pull one out for you. That would be. <laughs> That's what she's. Awesome. And that is what <laughs> she said, or he said? Oh well. That's maybe. what he did. That's. <laughs> <laughs> all right i gotta get ooh, okay go <laughs> all right so, so that's let's, what we're doing with our weekend <laughs> well that's cool to the hospital for surgery <laughs> taking who to the hospital our, our roommate um, oh no we have uh the largest half pipe in um the united states here in at vale resorts okay. and he was trying it out uh day before yesterday and unfortunately landed in uh i should say in an unfortunate way right. on his hand no. and like fractured his wrist so he's gonna have surgery tomorrow oh, oh wow for those of you guys that don't know when you live at the bottom of a ski resort um sometimes you're compelled to share space so we have a flatmate he's awesome though he's He's Asian and he's an architect. He's he's completely harmless and totally cute. Oh, we met we met him. We <laughs> yeah. met him. He's yeah. Yeah. he's a cute little Asian. He busted his hand up. He's he's going into Aww. surgery tomorrow. So, oh man. I hope he feels better. Yeah. He's well, just taking turns. He he's the one that found the leak in the bottom of the lake. The one that That's created right. the leak in the lake. And <laughs> oh found it. no. <laughs> He created. No. You like to see that. Million that. dollar project. Everybody know now. In, in the paper, he was the one that found yeah, it. Yeah, this is true. In the paper, <laughs> and the media <laughs> tells true. what's true. <laughs> That's a segue. <laughs> uh. All right, so let, let's go ahead and jump into a little bit of tech before we jump into media. Tech, 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 technology. See, see, see I love how. When I said I wanted new bumpers, the only thing Jay did was replace me with Scott. He I didn't did. make any with his own voice. I, I, that is correct. <laughs> don't, don't complain. No, no, no. Don't no. complain. No, no, no. It's fine. All right. So um, this past week in tech, man. So, Reggie, you, 
you you and Dana both have a PS3, and we have a PS3, and everybody that has a PS3 knows that the PS3 is one of the best Blu-ray players in the you know that's on the market. You agree? <laughs> you damn right, baby. I'm yeah. Gonna, right, right. It's a love affair with my PS3. It is, and. Been through two just in the last year and a half. Wow! <laughs> have a PS3. <laughs> and I will say that is one, but it's also one of the most expensive <laughs> Blu-ray players to get. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I was on a mission because I have more than one TV, and I want to watch Blu-rays just not in one place. I want to watch them in my bedroom also. He's so, so spoiled. So I went to Costco, um, and I picked up a Sony Blu-ray player. No, no, no. Now, mind you, we already have. A player in the back. It's not Blu-ray. No, it's, it's not DVD, Blu-ray. I can't watch The Lord of the Rings in the back. I can't watch the video. It's standard def, Renee. Sorry. Well, yeah. well, no, I have. I actually have a, D, a DVD player that um, does the up, um, the up, up rate, convert, up right. convert to 1080p. Yeah. 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 But, but you know, you know, but so I went and got this Blu-ray player. It was it does it was a Blu-ray. It plays blu, 3D Blu-ray and all that other stuff. I just want the Blu-ray player. But it was seventy nine bucks, and it was it's normally a hundred and nineteen. So mm-hmm. I went and <laughs> I went and got it, and I've been trying it out, and and I got Sony because hey, the same people that make the PS three, why not? Let's try it out because I had gotten a Samsung um, a, a long time ago before we got our Xbox, and it crapped out. We got it like a month worth of watching Blu rays out of it, and then it stopped mm-hmm. playing. But my experience so far with the Sony Blu-ray player has been tremendous. Um, it's a, I think it's a BXP59. Right, right. It's the model mm-hmm. number. And um, it, it's actually the interface on it is very similar to the, uh, to the PS3. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It has, does it have the XMB? Um, it actually it does because when I plugged it up, as soon as it got on my network, it saw my files on my on my desktop and I, I was able to play some of the movies from my desktop it was hmm. it was it was pretty it was pretty nice <laughs> for 79 bucks you said yeah costco, costco. Uh, until nice. the 27th um it's until the 27th if you have a costco membership or or if you know yeah. someone know someone that has a costco can membership. get you in there but oh. yeah i mean it saw it's and then also and then i noticed when i came to my computer if i right click on a movie file I get an option that says, um, oh, um, play to, and then when I highlight over it, it says play the Blu-ray player. So if my Blu-ray player is on, it gives me a, it gives me a context so, menu. So you can just do it, it from my PC. There. Yeah. So I can, I can play a, a Blu-ray, uh, I mean a movie or something from my PC to my Blu-ray player. So Wi-Fi. Yep. It is Wi-Fi built in. That, and that was the other reason. Did you, I, mean. I mean, obviously you had to authenticate, right? It didn't just pop up. I mean, no, yeah, I had a, yeah, I had to put in my password and everything. And it, you know, as soon as I got on, it was like, hey, there's an update for it, and it went through this update. I came mm-hmm. back, and it, and it was up to date. But yeah, man, I, I'll get you the link to it after the show, man. It's, you know, I think, um, <laughs> I'm telling Did you, man. Get a remote. Yes, it came with a remote. I'm telling you, that, <laughs> that's my only quorum with the um, PS3 is that I'm too lazy, or I'm too. Ch- Okay, get this. I'm too cheap to go get a remote to control the to control the PS3 <laughs> because it's like 24 bucks, but I go buy a Blu-ray player. <laughs> Free, yeah, it's, yeah. That's so awesome. in your bedroom, uh, what kind of display do you have? Um, we have a 32 inch 720 720 um p back there, wall mounted. Yeah, we got it wall mounted. We got a little deal. Integrated speakers or oh. yeah, it's it's yeah. LED. I haven't really done anything with sound. Um, up front we have a sound bar because that room is so big. But but in the back it's just integrated speakers. See, and it doesn't bother me, but I think it bothers Jay. I've gotten used to it. Really? Yep, I gotten used to it, and I I don't want to buy another sound bar and then mount that on the bottom of the TV. I just don't I don't feel like it right now. Well, <laughs> none of us are, uh, so we're still in tech, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, mind you, I don't work for Sony, and Dana, you don't work for Sony, right? <laughs> That's right. But um, but I like Sony. I used to have uh, <laughs> some Logitech computer speakers hooked up to the PS3 in the living room, and those took a poo. 
I just recently upgraded to a nice little Sony 7.1 receiver. Oh. And so far, only just a couple, you know, just a 2.0 speaker config because that's going to happen over time. But, dude, Reggie's happy. Really? Yeah. It's all HDMI. It's idiot proof and my remotes make sense and so there's like a crossover like if i turn on the you know if i grab remote a and i hit you know power all this crap on like six of my seven devices will come on it's pretty idiot proof and wow again let's let's not get brand centric see yeah i would love to have a remote like, like a remote that controls multiple things in the house because we have like six remotes and it's ridiculous yeah it's mm-hmm. frustrating i know that they're out there but <clears throat> it's just but i'm still using the ps3 remote for the ps3 playback yeah yeah i had a remote for my ps2 back in the day oh you did yeah oh you know what i think i, I remember that i still have stuff. it somewhere I'm yeah sure. <laughs> so if you look in the chat room i did i did link in the chat room the the um it's bx59 the 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 that particular. And uh, Kevin said that he has a Costco membership. Oh, okay. So, oh, he does. Oh, so cool. If you uh, want to get with him. Yeah. We're going to get with you, Kevin. Yeah. We're going to get with you. <laughs> <laughs> we got baby supplies to buy. <laughs> uh, dude, I am telling you. Oh, Costco. Costco is the place. place. I mean, you, oh, toilet paper. Formula. <laughs> diapers. <laughs> moist towelettes. Yeah. Moist towelettes. hear from... <laughs> They're pregnant moms that they have this amazing chocolate cake that is to die for. Yeah, they have, <laughs> dude, they have these desserts, like these cinnamon buns. They're like, like the size of like. Oh, tell them about balls. the tell them about the the chocolate cupcakes we got from Costco. Oh, for the we got party. chocolate cupcakes for a party. These cupcakes were like mini cakes. They weren't even cupcakes. They were huge, but they were uh, so good. They were like all moist. See? Yep. Moist. Uh-huh. Moist. 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 Yep. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I would I would definitely check out their dessert section if you go. Uh, so I got cravings now. Well, well I'm <laughs> telling you, uh, we, we do have them on our list for our treat yourself day. Yes. For they yeah, have some awesome cinnamon. apple pie. Oh, huge. Uh, it looks great. And they also have an awesome chicken pot pie. Also. Oh my god! <laughs> and it's like, and, it, and it's like the kind that has the, like it's l- l- lattice dough, and you just put it in the oven and let it cook. And mm. mm-hmm. 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 okay. <laughs> we haven't ate food yet, and we're like, woo. Yeah. Food. Language, I'm probably not going to survive past the food <laughs> conversation. <laughs> yep. So, so do you have anything else in tech, Dana or Reggie or Renee? In tech? I'm playing Far Cry 3. It's awesome. We just me- started that, that's, yeah. That's media, Reggie. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh. You can't talk about that right now. How you just go cock? How you just go block Reggie? Easy. <laughs> well, I wanted to get you a record player for Christmas. Is that tech or is Ooh. that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's definitely old tech. tech. Like, like a, tech. Was it like a USB or, or straight up old school record player? <laughs> Straight up old school record oh, player. Awesome. Yeah, because that that was Reggie's best friend as a little boy growing up. Oh, that's awesome. It's his record player. Aww. All my little Disney LPs and 33 and a third, I Winnie the Pooh, those. and yeah, I had those. And like all that stuff. Fox and the Hound. I remember Splash Dance. Yeah. Did you remember that uh, Disney album yeah. called Splash Dance? Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, it was like 70s disco type song. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was good. Yep. <laughs> See, about okay, so here, <laughs> so here's the thing. Renee said, "Jay, you saw turn on because you old." Now she talking about '70s disco. No, Disney no, no, no. It's '70s style, but it was '80s. <laughs> but that same time, turn on them came out. Well, okay, turn on <laughs> Disney album. Which which one do you think my parents thought was most appropriate for me as like a six or seven year old child? Uh, as an adult. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, so when did when when did Mad Max the Third One come out? Was that early? Was that Mad Max came out in the late seventies, didn't he? Isn't that when it started? Uh, I think the old did. IMDb app going here. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe. Master Blaster was eighty. Blaster. I'm gonna. Well, I'm not going to guess because I'll just look like a fool. Yeah, Mad Max 79. Oh, and Splash Dance came out in 83. 
And I was born in 79. Mad Max came first one out in 79. Yep, my birth year. Mm, 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 you heard about wow. this remake, right? Is that Mad, oh, Mad Max 2 or something like that? I don't know. I think it's like a reboot or, a, you know, I don't know. Hollywood has just lost mm. their mind lately. Yeah, everything's a remake now. I think it's because everybody who was in uh, oh. like kid, kid <laughs> in that, around that time is like, adult and they can just buy all the tickets and they're just weighing in on yeah. all, oh, the, all the nostalgia beyond thunderdome oh okay oh this is um is this mad max fury road coming out in 2014 that sounds about right yeah um they have tom hardy playing as max you know he's not bad hold on i gotta i can do an impression of him too <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, I'm still waiting. I'm, I'm still waiting for John. He was like this British. Uh, oh, uh, that's the dude that played Bane. Yeah, he was Bane, but he was like. Uh, Look at this picture. Light. Look at this picture of him. Oh my goodness. Who? What? The dude what? that played Bane. Yes, Tom Hardy, right? And his name. Yeah. Look at me knowing people. Mm, mm, well, yeah, mm. yeah, we said that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen well, them. Chat room just came out with Disco Duck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, remember Disco Duck. I remember that. Disco, yeah. Disco, Disco Duck. Duck. Yeah. <laughs> I like splash and skip <laughs> through the sprinklers no. on a sunny day. All right. Can't wait for the club to burst and the skies turn gray. All right. Y'all moving to media now. <laughs> <laughs> we are moving to media for uh, all right so let's go ahead since we're right at it let's go ahead and do it media movies books comics tv is that the quick one you made that's you the quick made? bumper i made <laughs> <laughs> I want to go dancing with you guys. You okay. guys groove. <laughs> yep. We're going to have to make some bumpers that have your voice in them. That's what I demand for the next bumper overhaul. Well, it's not going to happen. I want to be a bumper <laughs> duck. <laughs> a bumper duck. I have to show you those albums again. All right. All right. <clears throat> so, so last week, so as you all know, we do a, a Movies by Chance. And last week, we rolled the dice and we got a movie called Dive. And this it was interesting. Mo- this movie was a documentary that reveals the amount of edible, nutritious goods that are thrown away every day in a nation where millions of citizens still go hungry. This was the ultimate hippie yes, documentary hippie dippy. that I've watched in a long time. <laughs> it was about dumpster diving, it was, pretty it much. Was cool. It was cool. It was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cause, I mean, and they had a point. There was stuff that was being thrown away in dumpsters, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars of food that wasn't even bad right so he was out on a quest to find out how much we waste and what can we do about it and all this so that's what that's about they were doing stuff like so their favorite spot to hit was trader joe's Mm -hmm. for produce and chicken and everything else there was Mm -hmm. one trip that they made and they got like a chest freezer full Full of of chicken yeah yeah chicken like they would throw away like like Awesome meats, like meats that normally cost, you know, ten pounds, something crazy, but they get it for free because they dumpster dive. Yeah. But uh, hmm. so yeah, so it's a. And they would throw away like cartons of eggs because two of them were busted. And so the rest that, were fine. You know, and so I mean, it was interesting. You know, they had like a year's worth of meat <laughs> that they didn't have to buy. And, yeah. You know, and it was. They did say it was a lot of work. Yeah, and there was one thing we. In this country, we waste half of the food that we make, which is oh, yeah. crazy, crazy, you yeah. know, and people are starving, but it's the problem of trying to get that food to the people. That's the problem. It, so. And the funny yeah. part was they were doing these neat things with like the credits and the, um, I guess the seg- segways and stuff like that. They would take food and spell out what they're going to next. <laughs> and I was like, aren't y'all wasting food by doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you eat it when it's all on the dirt and no, everything. Ironic. So. <laughs> you know. But anyway. But you know. it was cool. Um, at one point in my life, I don't think I shared this with Renee, um, I had wanted to dumpster dive. Really? For but, food or for goods? Oh, for goods. Because okay. I've heard stories of people like Kmart and all them throwing, people finding DVD players and everything else in the in the trash 
I, I've, I've like, wanted to do that. Ones that work? Yeah. Why would he throw away ones that work? No. Why, do you it, think they would just maybe, send them back to the manufacturer? I don't know. I mm. think this this Kmart was closing or something. But <laughs> I, 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 it gave me a fever to want to. Do you still want to dumpster dive? No, I don't because... <laughs> Big bugs are rampant. No, I'm scared something might happen. That's true. <laughs> Have you ever done that, Dana or Reggie? Have you dumpster dived? No, I can't say that I have. <laughs> have you ever wanted to? Was a... I was, I was going to say Reggie's, Reggie knows about the waste, though, because he worked in a grocery store. Well, I've seen, I've seen this in person. So my first job was at Wise Way, uh-huh. a grocery store in Gary, Indiana. And uh, I climbed up that ladder and, and uh, shagged my way into the produce department. Right. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I remember there were a few times when we would huck out pallets of, you know, perfectly good strawberries and watermelon, and um, out the back door I would see um, they were regulars, and it was like, you know, kind of an old beat-up pickup truck and grandpa and the grandson in there fetching all the perfectly good stuff we threw out. Yeah. And yeah. then, and, and they want to stop people from doing it, but it's like, it's just going to go to the dumpster. So yeah, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. I should think that they should allow people to take stuff. If, if, if uh, you're going to throw it out as garbage, right. you know, so right. why not? Yeah. And, and they, and they did talk about things got a little better when Clinton signed that bill where restaurants couldn't be um, Good Samaritan bill or something like yeah, that, yeah, yeah, where called. where people can't sue like Trader Joe's or somebody if they gave, you know, the food donate the food to like an organization or something yeah, like that. Like if somebody got sick, they can't right, sue they can't them get sued. for having you know. You know, yeah. but yeah. Uh, they said things got a little better, but it wasn't like a huge difference. And and a lot of times when they they did. They didn't, and then what he ended up doing towards the end it was helping out like a couple of um, nonprofits that were gathering food. Like there was a big one. It's I think he was in I can't remember where in California, but he was in California, not far, 15 minutes from Trader Joe's corporate headquarters. But he would um, he helped with the Salvation Army, where they had like a soup kitchen and then they would cook and they depended on donations. And another one, um, mm-hmm. you know where they yeah. where they help. So so yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, see, that makes that makes more sense to me, you know, not to get political at all, but that's what I did this summer was work on a campaign. Right. And um, we got to visit several senior centers and other um, not-for-profits that had started uh, food pantries. Right. Mm-hmm. And they had, um, you know, arranged with several gr- local grocery stores and other chains and bigger ones. Um, that they would, instead of throwing it out into their back dumpster, they would just load up the truck or these volunteers would go to their business and collect all this stuff that they would otherwise just be throwing out. And that just makes much more sense to mm-hmm. me. Yep. But you need individuals to pursue, you know, that idea and, and make it happen. Right. But I know I know Panera. Yeah, that's interesting. You said it was called Dive? Yeah, yeah D- Dive. D-I-V-E. D-I-V-E. Yeah. And, huh. I mean, it was only... You know, 40. Yeah, it's like, not even long. Yeah, it was like so. 52 minutes. So, yeah, so. It, it was pretty good, yeah. you know. Um, So go check it out. I mean, there was a couple of times in there where he did, you know, he kind of had his, um, I, I think when I said it was the most hipperish documentary was his his comment what at one point where he talked about um, this is good beef that's, um, grass-fed beef, the way yeah. it's supposed to be. The way, oh yeah, he, he, he threw the way it's a, supposed to be. So it was, it was a, a little, the little sad comment little thing right there comments. was kind of, it kind of made me chuckle a little bit. Yeah, you know, <laughs> which you know, gra- I know grass-fed beef is the best beef, but I thought it was funny that he had to throw that yeah, in there. Yeah, he had to throw it in there, like, hey, everybody who's not, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so we're at the part now where people that are actually hungry, and then you have hipsters that dumpster dive because it's. A fringe behavior and they want to stand out yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, and some people was like they he, you know they, they explain you know i do it because i feel like it's just you know even though it's breaking the law if <laughs> you, you know, know this <laughs> is this is just illegal behavior so i feel i'm like willing to go to jail for it or get or get arrested That's for crazy. it right right so 
Go ahead. No, I was going to say, dare, dare I bring up um, Honey Boo Boo? <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. I, oh God, no, we I, don't dare. I want to watch it because that is my guilty pleasure is yep. freaking reality I shows. I will own up to it. Like Skitty. I like Jersey Shore, and I want to see that, but I don't have enough time. So I saw one <laughs> one episode they where they were making Skeddy. So yeah, I forget mall. what they called it. Yeah, the Skeddy. market. Went to the yeah. dumpster. Um, yeah. Did, did they really? The what? Yeah, it was, I forget what. Yeah, they I don't remember what the, uh, the rest of the episode was about. They go to the mall and they jumped on their freaking quads, <laughs> and they went brrr, down to the freaking dumpster. Wow! And, and they I fished they out a couple kill. of unitards and like a yeah. box fan Some clothes and. Yeah. And yeah. Boo Boo mm. said about her sister, this, she says, that's where my sister gets all her clothes. Yeah, we, we, this wow. is probably a new low for you guys. Yeah. This is the, the show that we don't want to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm like Scott in that way because he's, he's, he loves those kind of trashy shows. They're, 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 they're sweet family, though. Dana's defending the Honey Boo Boo because <laughs> she... They're Feels genuine. The you, well, they're genuine they, people. I mean, they are just, genuine. I will you know, give them that. Just because you don't share their culture or <laughs> the way, oh, yeah, the way they cook turkey. They're so sweet. <laughs> they have a game where they smell each other's breath and try and guess who it is. I mean, <laughs> people is a label that I'm not sure we even need to apply here. But you hear Reggie making these, uh, Ugh, these complaints. Lord. But yet, there was a Honey Boo Boo marathon on, and he watched every single <laughs> I mean, it's like a train wreck. You can't, it is. You can't it not is. watch it. You can't help yourself. Yeah. It's like when you see a dog just humping like a pillow in somebody's living room, you, you, can't, av- you cannot avert your eyes. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, so, we're at that part of the show where Renee takes her lovely dice, and, 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 and she's going to roll them. Uh, roll a low number. Roll a low number. We're gonna get the, the the, and we get the movie in our Netflix queue. So we have like a hundred and sixty-two in our Netflix queue. Oh, cool! And um, we're gonna see what we got here, and we got a what? One. Sixteen. One sixteen. The movie we get to watch next week is called The Double. It's a thriller. The Devil. Double. Oh, The Double. Starring Richard Gere. And Ooh. Topher Grace. I had such a crush on Richard Gere when he was in Pretty Woman. Oh, he 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 liked to visit a strip club in Lincoln, Nebraska, a lot. Um, <laughs> I love random facts like that. Yep. So retired CIA <laughs> agent Paul Shepardson joins young FBI agent Ben Geary to track down a Russian assassin who has seemingly returned after the Cold War. This sounds so tropey. So. That came out in 2011, so that's our movie for next week, The Double with Richard Gere. And so we're still in media, and um, they had to take care of that business and everything. But before I even get into the media we watched, I want to go ahead and ask my question that I wanted to ask from earlier Do in I the show. This? No, I wrote a, wrote a message uh-huh. down here about the Oscars, okay? Now, if I'm thinking <laughs> right, Les Mis is um, nominated for a few things, right? A lot of things, yes. Reg, Dana? Mm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Let's make sure. Best musical ever, yeah. Now, I agree. Les Mis is one of my favorite musicals ever. But I refuse. Now, I need y'all to t- talk me through this. I have this thing where Les Mis, I think Les Mis was my, if I'm thinking right, well, there was Hello, Dolly where I actually played in the orchestra on there. So that so I had some exposure from high school. But the exposure as an adult that made me appreciate it even more was Les Mis, the musical. And mm-hmm. and, and seeing it performed, you know, at high schools and then also seeing, you know, it wasn't the the A crew. It was more like the B crew that stopped in Lincoln and did a show for Les Mis. And I loved it. And it's like, I remember that feeling, you know, of Les Mis, and I struggle about going to see the movie because because of that. Now, have you all seen the movie? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yes, we have. Yeah. And, and we've we've traveled. We've we've spent good blood and treasure to follow this show. Okay. Um. 
I got to see it in London when I was there. Gas money, hotels. Right. You know, we've seen it a few times on stage, a handful. And have you seen the movie too? So here's the thing, dude. So, Cowboy, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking of, um, you know, some musical that you saw and Barbra Streisand was probably in it and the whole thing was... (laughs) dubbed and it was cheesy and awesome but it, it, it lacked a certain kind of reality well uh, this is what this is what it when is see lay miz on stage just kicks you in the gut and it, makes you puke and cry it and, does it does yeah, it, it it hits you hard right they've done that with this film okay see, they, yeah. mm, one okay. one thing that that's i haven't seen in a filmed musical um, was the performances were captured live. So uh, Hugh Jackman's got a little earpiece, and he has a little piano accompaniment, but he's not lip-syncing a damn thing. Yeah. He's performing it. And there's a lot of, you know, ECUs, and, uh, close-ups. Get on the actor, get in his face. And I saw two or three instances of singing through tears and things that you won't actually get on stage and then I haven't seen on film and it's a winner it's wonderful you will enjoy every bit of it except all the Russell Crowe stuff because he can't sing he doesn't have the chops to play that part and that's what he had a few good moments but yeah overall he was definitely a a play but but I will say crap that and that's what did it for me when I see I hadn't you know what because I was trying to stay away from it because you know, Mama Mia is another one of my favorite, you know, shows. And I was excited when I heard about it coming to the movies and everything. And I was like, how can they not, you know, and then I found out that the songs they cut out, they cut out a lot of my favorite songs. And I was like, you know what, I'm not going to see it. And I haven't seen Mama Mia, the mo- you know. I'm not a snob. I want to keep the... Uh, Meryl's good. <clears throat> I haven't seen it either. You know, but I mean, I know, but but what 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 because I didn't follow Les Mis, you know, um, but then when I found out Russell Crowe was in there, I just shut it off. I was like, you know what, screw it. And I was like, you don't, I don't want to see give it. Anything a chance. And 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 what was funny was that because I hadn't followed it, I didn't know Hugh Jackman was in it. I was like, won't they just put Hugh Jackman in there instead? I like him better than Russell Crowe. And then I found out that he is in it. <laughs> So, mm-hmm. See? So, so I will say this weekend. This we weekend, we I was I was going to go see The Hobbit again in 3D because right. I didn't see it in 3D. Right. But I am going to change my plans. Oh man! I am not going to go see The Hobbit this weekend mm-hmm. because I respect Reggie and Dana's opinion a lot. Mm-hmm. Not saying D- D- Danielle, Kim, if you're listening. I'm sorry. <laughs> see, you're doing the same thing you used to hate when I did. Someone else tell you to go see it, and you're like, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> but you guys will not be disappointed. Okay. Let's just say no, no, no. that I totally the, 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 caliber, the caliber of the performance of Hugh Jackman and Anne Hathaway alone is enough to outshine um, however poor... Um, poor yeah. Russell Crowe was. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie Redmayne, is that his and, name? The guy that plays Marius is awesome. Okay. Oh, he's the phenomenal. The Eponine is from Broadway. She is the bomb. Okay. And a real treat oh, is the real... Cole the, Wilkinson. Cole oh. Wilkinson, who played Jean Valjean in the very first production of Les Mis, yes. um, plays the priest. Really? Yes. See, See I'm telling you. He makes an appearance. Yeah. I'm telling you how really disconnected I am. That's how well. disconnected I yeah, was. Jay, Jay will cut like, off I didn't know, all. I didn't know. I didn't know Anne Hathaway was in there until three days ago. He will cut off everything. And she pones, dude. She, she did a brilliant job. And, and I love Anne Hathaway. It's a, just, it rips your heart out. Okay. Okay, so will you stop doing that kind of thing where you just no, shut it all down? Because, I won't. Okay. <laughs> so, dude, you love the play, okay? Right. So, Les Miserables is my second favorite play right underneath Hamlet. It's just an incredible piece of work. Yeah. And forget about all the awesome times we've had seeing it on stage and listening to it and all that jazz. (laughs) Please. Take the raw material, interpret it for film, and they nailed it, dude. Okay. Well, if I do this. Love it. 
Renee, see, Renee waving me off. This is the same person when we we went to go see freaking um um the help. She walked out in the movie pissed off. So don't wave me off. Well, no, no, no. no. Every adaptation is not good. Hey, but at least I went and saw it, didn't I? I didn't say I'm not gonna go see that. It Uh, can't be good. Well, you were in the movie talking. That didn't happen to book. I didn't. I was not talking in the movie like. (laughs) Renee? Loud like that. I don't do okay. that. Okay, okay. You didn't say that in heaven, but but your body, you was like, mm. <laughs> shifted. <laughs> yes, uh, but but they they screwed some stuff up there, and you and you even admitted it was kind of it was it was a little screwy when you admitted that. So well, I didn't mm-hmm. read the book, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right, so Jason C. Lay Miz with Renee this weekend. That's mm-hmm. awesome. I, I'm glad. I'm glad so we I want talked you to about report this. Report back and tell me how much you cried. I will. I, I definitely will. I mean, because that yeah. That yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I love the show. Yeah, I, th- I think you you'll appreciate yeah. it. I've just seen the movie, like the old movie, well, the older. Movie. Well, you saw the one with Liam Neeson. Yeah, that's. Now I saw, I that, saw one, that one, and I appreciate that one because that was the movie interpretation of it. Mm-hmm. You and know, Jeffrey Rush, right? Uma Thurman was in that. Yeah, that was yep. good. It was, and I mean, I love Neil, I love Liam. So you know, what? let me let me defend Russell Crowe in a tiny little way. No, if you watch. <laughs> Well, only only because I I want to I want to give him some uh, credit for his courage okay. to even approach such a role, because obviously he knew the the caliber of singers that he had around him. So when you watch it, and because I'm anxious to see it again, and and appreciate his performance in a, in a slightly different way, which is he doesn't have the 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 strength of his vocals Mm -hmm. but yet he still has sincerity and and genuine um emotion for the character and so if you if you appreciate that and not so much what you remember from the sounds of other actors that are singers that have played that role i think you'll still appreciate his character because um you know, people are so used and, and, you know, are ready to judge him based on other performers, you know, having played that. And, and it's unfortunate because he does play it with, with great sincerity and, and uh, you he know, just can't sing poor guy. Yeah, he okay. just, he just okay. doesn't have that, think, that okay. powerful voice. Okay. Finally. But <laughs> well, we're spoiled. I'm, I'm holding in my hand because I was trying to find out what his name was at the 20th anniversary concert mm-hmm. of uh, Less Miserables. Oh, yeah. nice. And I was trying to get the name of the guy. We, there, oh, there's Black a, Javert. Oh, my God. He's a wonderful Javert. Oh, dude. Yeah. See, class. So, They're classing up the joint, like, like I said. Well, I'll, I'll, you know, so, what I mean. His name, he might, his name might be Norm Lewis. Because mm. Alfie Bowie was working. Anyway, there's a really good Blu-ray, the 25th anniversary concert of that mm-hmm. show. And if you guys haven't seen any of those, there's one for the tenth too, and uh, that one has Cole Wilkinson and Michael Ball in it. We're okay. really geeking out here That's on cool. the whole Broadway Maybe tip. I'll watch the um, show then. But uh, yeah. Well, what I'll do. That role is tough, man, and it's so amazing when it's done right. And I wanted Russell Crowe to win. He didn't, but he's ten percent of the movie, and the other ninety percent of it is. Impeccable. Thank you for telling Jay to give things a try. I really appreciate that. Well, you, you know what? <laughs> yeah, you know what's happening right now? You know what I just did? You just bought it, didn't you? I just bought the 25th oh, anniversary gosh. Blu-ray of Les Mis. Yes, does this. <laughs> right? It's got, he the does picture this. has a bunch of like, it's just, you see the stage and a bunch of yep. really like focused uh, Fresnel oh, lights. Right. Okay. But That's what up? Oh, you'll flip your lid. Although in that one, the Marius sucks. Okay. Well, here's Jonas Nick, jo- Nick Jonas. I don't know who what? he is. Apparently, he Jonas has brothers. brothers Nick? He's a shitty <laughs> Marius. Okay. Oh. So the uh, Marius in the film you're gonna watch this weekend. Oh, he's just gonna rip your. He's wonderful. Okay. I didn't miss out. Okay. He's he's amazing. Okay. So what 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 I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna watch the 25th anniversary <laughs> before I go. Oh God. I'm not gonna do that. It comes. It's gonna get here Wednesday. I'm gonna just put it on the shelf. I'm going to go see the movie, mm-hmm. and if the movie's bad... It's not going to be bad. <laughs> see, do you, charge, do you, do you see how he is? He, does, he will not accept it until he wa- actually watches it. That's, 
Okay, we love you anyway, Jay. <laughs> it's hard. He's like this. Y'all have everything. Y'all, I'm, I'm glad y'all love me for me and understand. <laughs> but, but I will say, my, my mind is open and my heart is open to going to watch it. I will say that. I don't even know how he gave me a chance. Well, I was guessing. It was wet. What's that, Reggie? I said episode ninety-two. I'm gonna hear about it. Okay, and, and I will. Swing, and you're gonna be loving it. Yeah, I, and, I, and you know, I really hope that's the case. I really do. I, I really oh. hope that's the case. We'll be but. in tears within five minutes. Oh, dude. oh, oh! You know another one that he'll cry about and he'll love. Okay, we have a movie, Dad, to We're your still Netflix. On media? Where you have yes, to add to your we'll Netflix, you, well, you don't have lots of time talking about it, but you brought up The Hobbit, and it made me think of Martin Freeman. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. But Reggie and I were dying to find another Christmas movie this season that we hadn't seen. And so he went on his little phone, and he found a movie that had Martin Freeman in it, and it's called... Nativity. Nativity. Exclamation point. With an exclamation point. It's like TV. the Christmas, British Christmas version of Hamlet 2, but with little kids. It's wonderful. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, okay. we, have to, we have to find it on stream because it's not on Netflix streaming okay. right now. Oh, and Hamlet 2, if you haven't seen that. Okay. Good gracious me. Have you guys seen Hamlet 2? No. Uh-uh. I, I uh, read the book called Hamlet when I was a kid, and it had pigs in it. It was... <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it was a kid's book and uh, it was called Hamlet but uh, no <laughs> alright I'm, I'm, I'm making notes I'm here find it hey. Hey. exclamation point and Hamlet too y'all yeah for real Both of them. is that the one that has the skull the dude carrying the skull is that Hamlet rock me sexy Jesus <laughs> yeah it's a song called rock, rock me, me sexy, sexy Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> Rock Mm-mm. me, sexy Jesus. All right, all right. Cool. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, all right. Got that down here. Um, one of the things, when I went to go get my Blu-ray player, I did go pick up Finding Nemo because that's one of my favorite Pixar movies. Yeah. Yeah. The selling DVD on the planet, by the way. So what? Is it? That is the number one selling DVD on the planet. Really? Really? I was, I'm telling you, back when it came out, I was one of the first ones that bought it, and I bought it again this past weekend. I mean, mm-hmm. Ellen did such a great job. In that. She, <laughs> you know. Yeah, Ellen. Yeah, we didn't even get to finish it, but I've only seen it once, and yeah. so it was just amazing. It was we awesome. didn't get to finish it because Downton Abbey was coming on, <laughs> which was really, really good. I love that. It's it is the soapiest soap opera, but it is so good. And Maggie Smith, I I love that girl. Okay, Maggie Smith is my whole world. Freaking love her. She's wonderful. What's the movie that we love, Dana, that has her and freaking Judy Dench in the same damn movie? And there's like this guy that washes up on the beach who plays violin right, or something. Right, it was during the war, World War II. Yeah. Oh, we love some some of them oh, da- the dames. The and, yeah. and I know that you know people yeah. don't don't l- like to talk about it, but when she's gone, I'm gonna be so sad because she has no. so much talent, and I know she's yeah. uh, getting up there in years, so I know it's coming eventually, but. Uh, Maybe guest on the Shakespeare. I don't want to focus on Shakespeare too much, but there is a version of. Uh, no, that's Judy. That's not. That's not Maggie. Sorry. Never mind. No. no that's and, and it's and it's fine if we get Shakespeare. I mean, it's what we have you here for. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna bring it. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. We we don't talk about Shakespeare much, so yep. we're glad you all are here. Yeah. So so. Um, have you guys watched American Idol? Do, are, are, Do you, we, are you into that Season at all? 12 started this, this past week, and we watched the very first record, um, first one of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. This is another one of those shows that I like. I, don't, I can't explain why, but Nikki freaking Minaj. Okay. One, I saw a video of her before she was famous. And she was good. Her rhymes were better, and she looked normal, and it was awesome. And yeah. I would have loved her. But then she wasn't getting, you know, noticed enough, so she Lady Gaga changed herself. into Lady Gaga, and she looks like a Mrs. Mrs. Potato Head. I actually saw a picture yeah. to compare it and look the same. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, that, yeah. but, but the way she acts and carries herself, she doesn't act the way she's dressed. It's a little disconcerting. Like she it's acts embarrassing, normal. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is I she think. a judge this season? Yes. yes. Her, 
uh, her and um, Mariah, Mariah, Carey. Carey. Mariah Carey supposedly they don't like each other. I don't know why. Uh, and then, of course, Randy Jackson and um, Keith Urban. Yeah, Keith Urban is there. He's a judge also. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's... So they it started up. Uh, we'll probably watch through the auditions and then stop. Yeah, we end up stopping. Like, if there's not somebody amazing, right? I end up just stopping. Um, and then um, Renee told me today that Atari filed for bankruptcy today. Yep. I'm going to put this link. Uh, in. Did they really? Yeah. Yes, they, they finally... Did it in. I mean, because people say that, like, they've been, you know, floundering for a while. Yeah. So, um, I guess they thought it was time. Now, just because they're bankrupt, I guess it doesn't mean that they're, they're done. They're yeah. done, because cause yeah. sometimes they, you know, just do that to save the company. But right, right. We'll see. You guys old enough to remember those days? Oh, oh yeah. When I was six years old, I was Atari 2600 playing mm. Pitfall. On this mm-hmm. black and white TV that my that had a button you pushed in and had to warm up slowly. Man. Yeah. And I Man. thought Atari games were only black and white because that's because that's all we played and I was a black and white TV. It was hey, so y'all remember the TV? <laughs> y'all remember the TV when you turned it off and then it it did that whole you know that whole dot. You, yes. sit there, you sit there, like, and, yeah. and, and you sit there, too, and you sit there and watch Arnold it. Arnold died. Yep. Drunk into that single dot in the you, center of your you screen. You sit there and watch <laughs> it, and you're like, "Am I gonna die when it goes away?" <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't think that. I think I think you're on your own with yep. that one. But <laughs> but, um, but yeah. So I mean, Atari had you know um, was the influence in our lives, and even Activision. You know what I'm saying? The little Activision oh PlayStation that yeah. had the. Uh, it's almost like a a telephone controller. You remember that? My mm-hmm. whole junior year of college was spent playing Activision golf and football. Yeah, man. I remember playing Pitfall on that bad boy. So. Yeah, it had the round uh, thing at the bottom. Touchpad kind of yep. deal. Right, right, it right. It did. Right. Yeah. Yep, it sure did. Um, and then, um, as Renee said, we um, played Borderlands um, this weekend. We and oh, my gosh. That is <laughs> Borderlands 2. And so... I was playing a, a soldier, and Renee was playing like a, a sniper, mm-hmm. and then the first DLC came with the first release of the ca- one of the characters called a mech- mechnomancer, which right. is the if you don't know about um um oh man I forgot the names that quick what um noodles um, noodles the from, g- gorillas yeah gorillas. noodles from the gorillas <laughs> um she looks like she reminds us reminds us of her. But I have to say the Mechnomancer is pretty overpowered that, in Borderlands yeah, 2. Yeah, that game is so awesome. So awesome. So um, I know you probably haven't had a chance to play it, right, Reggie? No, but I've spent about five hours watching my buddy Tom play it. It's it's sick, man. Yep. Yeah, I like oh that God. cell animation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They do a great job with that. It's a pretty game. Yep. And, and tell us about Far Cry, man. I, I've been hearing some good things about Far Cry. So I'm running around this freaking tropical island. Right. Just trying to get my stuff together. Mm-hmm. You know, you start out as this rich, douchey jock dude, and then you lose everything, and um, you almost become sympathetic. But I saw a tiger today. I, I, couldn't, I didn't react quick enough to do anything about it to kill it and skin it. But it's a little bit of FPS and a little bit of like kind of wow farming i'm crafting right now i'm trying to get it like a bigger oh bag gosh. and a bigger wallet that sounds and, great um huh. i have it on my wish things list, to I carry think. more guns because i i can't go in there the way i am right now i'm i'm getting pwned but i'm doing it on hard or whatever warrior oh <laughs> but it's 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 pretty it's fun that's cool i've been hearing some good things about them yeah i have it know, on my yeah. list um of games i have like literally probably 200 games that I still need to play. So I can't guarantee I'll ever get to it, but it's definitely on my list. And um, we're still playing WoW, right? You guys yes. got your pandas up yes. to... Yes, I was... Uh, we're going to definitely talk about that. We can talk about that now. Yeah, Great we can segue. talk about WoW well now. Are we on what? We're, we're, we're still, still on media. media. Yeah. We're still on media. We're still on media. You're good. We're, we're, yeah, we're good. Right. Um, WoW. I'm still playing WoW, but you probably don't know this, Reggie, but we officially stopped looking for a raid team we were trying to find one but we um, realized our nights are like like we're doing too much stuff now as opposed to a few years ago so we don't we stopped looking for a raid team mm-hmm. we're not going to raid anymore unless we fill in right right but my main 
thing for a while. Freaking pet battles, okay? Mm. I'll tell you. <laughs> listen, 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 listen to why. All right. My personality, I'm a completist. I start at the beginning. I go to the end. This is, I'm very much like this. I have made it a goal to go through every zone in WoW and get common, uncommon, and rare of every single pet in every single zone. This feeds my completest nature like no other, and I am so freaking obsessed with it. So it's, it's that's like why the, I like it. I don't, I don't do the person versus person. That that holds no appeal for me. I want to go out and farm for this pet for hours. That's that's what I want to do. There's a line in Borderlands 2 that the Mechnomancer says. She's like she's a teenager or a young adult, and when she does, when she completes an achievement, she says, "The completion to me is like yeah." <laughs> And it says it just like that. And Jay looked at me. And like, the yeah. completionist. Like okay. somebody wants to be a com- the completion of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Reggie, <laughs> you tell me how you feel about pet battles. Um, I, well, yeah, yeah, you know, it's cool. I, when they, when it first came out, I took Melly back to the starting zones and started kind of, you know, leveling up and getting some better pets and having some fun times and, um, I see the appeal, but I also wanted to level up. Right. Right. Because I was on hiatus for a while, and I and I was probably off for a, damn near a year. And then when uh, the last expansion came out, I I got back on, and I sampled and I enjoyed. But then I realized I would have a lot more fun in this whole new continent, um, killing stuff and leveling up. Yeah, but I hear you. I'm yeah. not. Daddy's not judging. No, no. Me. Yeah, because because th- that that was the first thing we did. We definitely got our characters up to ninety, and we're still playing our alts too, trying trying to get our alts up. But it's not as frantic, mm-hmm. and uh, so especially when Jay's you know playing something else, I'll I'll just be sitting there staring at the screen, killing uh, other pets, trying to get things to spawn, and some of them get to wait until it rains. It's so funny. Like um over. Across from Stranglethorn Vale, Jagero Isle, where all the apes and stuff are, it Ooh. has to be raining for the baby ape to spawn, and you don't know when it's gonna rain. Of course, so I'm just sitting there waiting, <laughs> and so I, I made alts on different servers. So if it's raining on one server, you know, and I went there, and I got there, and then it started raining as soon as I got there. I swear. All these people came down from the sky. Like, I didn't even know they were there. there were all, like, like, 10 people on mouse came, shoo, trying to get it. It was so funny. So, um, but I got my baby eight. I was like, ooh, and Jay laughs at me. Because when I get a rare, my face, he's like, I have to get a get that on camera. Because I'm so elated. Yeah. It's hilarious. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty funny. Ooh, love pet battles. <laughs> Yeah, um, and then while she's doing that this past weekend, I was playing, I started playing Bioshock, so this is my first time going through it, um, and that's one of the reasons why, like I said, um, just not having enough time to do raiding and stuff like that. We want to spend a little bit more time playing some of my other games, that mounds and mounds of games that I have. So I started playing Bioshock, and I have to admit, um, I'm not a huge Outside of Borderlands, I'm not a huge FPS person. I don't I don't know why. I think it's I think because when I play Borderlands, mm-hmm. I'm playing it in co op with Renee and it feels more like an MMO. Whereas I got somebody on my back, you know, had my back and stuff. But when I'm playing like Bioshock and it's just me, it takes me forever really? to do anything. Because, you know, I'm juking around corners like a cop, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> And getting all turned around. Yeah, yeah. And um, he's 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 a little scared of thriller type things where stuff jumps out at you. Mm-hmm. He doesn't like when he can't see. It freaks him out a little bit. And <laughs> yeah, oh, God, stuff like that. that. <laughs> you should you should watch the video of him playing Slender Man. Oh, no, just Slender. No. It is hilarious. No, 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 no. Oh, Reggie. I'm not playing that. No, 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 well, no. you should watch the watch video. Watch the video that of him playing and it's it's funny. Cause he is freaking the heck out. It's crazy. It's like it's like a eighteen minute video, but I only play Slender Man for like three minutes. 
if that. <laughs> so Dana leans into my ear and she whispers, "What's FPS?" Oh, <laughs> oh, Sorry. a first a first, first person, person shooter. shooter. Sorry. When, you, when like, <laughs> where like all you see is your hands yeah. and the gun. And yeah, the bad guys. you see hands and gun and what's in front of you, and it's all you see. No, yeah. no, 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 you're fine. fine. And you know, she was nodding and she's play, she played along. Aww. Oh, it's, she that's why I like it's, Dana. Dana. It, and it, you, I I actually created a, a a panda in WoW. Really? One day. She rolled a panda. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is did you awesome. Make a, did you make a little Her red name panda? Is Panara. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that time it. with the mouse and the wads. She I couldn't just, do I was so both. frustrated. Aww. Yeah, I mean, it takes practice. Great. Like, I tried to get my sister to play, and I didn't realize how natural playing this game comes now. It's like she couldn't understand yeah. how, to use the, how to move forward and how to look mm -hmm. around. And I was like... The yeah. camera controls for a newbie. Yeah, it was making me. You never played like a visually. I was getting game on PC. Mm -hmm. I was getting dizzy. Yeah, it, it was frustrating because I, you know, my hands weren't doing what my mind and my eyes were thinking it should be doing, and mm -hmm. you know, my character was moving in the opposite direction, and oh, it was so frustrating. <laughs> But, so, yeah. you know, I think if yeah yeah practice like start off small do small stuff and then and then you build up and it's pretty cool so uh, well, and a long ass time ago yeah. you tweeted something about Uncharted and I just yes. wanted to throw that out there so freaking good love oh, that game oh, dude. is there a a one that's going on right now is there one that's in the works do you know I'm playing Uncharted three multi with my nephew oh. you met. <laughs> yeah, he gets he gets upset and then he gets taunted. I He's love like, oh. Uncharted three. <laughs> oh, Uncharted is so good. Come oh. on, dude. See, see, well, that's my thing. Like my favorite game is Tomb Raider. That's my favorite game franchise. Love Laura Croft. That's my girl. So, so we're gonna be doing the reboot together, right? Like oh day, yeah. yeah. Oh, I bought the um, whole pack of Tomb Raider that has all all of them. So I'm playing Tomb Raider. And, anniversary right now which is a remake of the first one like they just made it pretty and it's so good I'm like I love this game I love Tomb Raider so I'm stoked about this new one coming yeah. out yeah yeah. I, yeah I have it uh on my wish list so I, I'm probably gonna buy it full price which I never ever ever do but I would think I am <laughs> um and Jay we watched a uh show based on a podcast that, that we really like yeah um the podcast um stuff you should know podcast came out with they premiered on the science channel um with their first television show yeah and stuff you should know is a podcast they pick a different topic every podcast and they tell you just facts about it and it's chuck and josh yep chuck and hosts. josh and they actually make stuff that sounds boring freaking interesting yeah it's like and they do listening fun. to ministry of shakespeare yeah like and they did one on was it condoms yep they did one well i'm not saying shakespeare's born at i just no. never thought about that yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i was like damn yeah that was kind of neat but they but it's a but the podcast only like what 20 minutes long, that's like well that? they they used to be like they used to be like 10 minutes yeah. long so but now they're they're, they're close to an hour and everything. Oh, okay, they're really, so, really good. So like so the show, <laughs> um, the show now, it's I had, you know, I, I wasn't impressed with the television show because it's more the way that they're doing this. I think it's more like Have you ever watched Kevin Smith's Comic Book Men that comes yeah. on after Walking Dead? It's it's almost like that where they have the whole comic book shop thing and then all of a sudden you see them sitting at a table all talking around a mic kind of thing. It's kind of it's kind of like that. So it's kind of like fictional but yet yeah, not fictional. They have different, like they cut in between them talking and giving facts and then this little skit, skit kind of thing. It's kind of, ugh, mm, it's weird. Yeah. It's... I mean, they still give you facts, just not as many as I would like. So I would rather them give more facts because that's the cool stuff. I love to learn. Right. And that's how I get, that's how I want that podcast to be. Like, right. I love to learn. So, mm. I, I mean, I guess pe pe people can check it out if you're really into Chuck and Josh. Yeah, so. yep, definitely. Stuff you should know is good. Yep. 
All right. Um, the, my sound kind of went oh. went kind of crazy. Oh, I wanted to talk about this because I mentioned this to Jay earlier in the week. I um, I was thinking about all these songs that bring back memories and everything, and I realized '80s movies had theme songs. You know, like you think of a song like that was the song that defined that movie, right? And they don't have that anymore, like, and it's really sad. Okay, let me name a movie, Reggie. And you, and you say the song, or Dana, I don't know Renee Pop said, Top Gun. I went to the danger side. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, uh, right? Karate Kid. My breath and away. it's like all these yeah. other, like, and it's really, I, would I miss that. And was that yeah. that first? Robin Hood. Yeah. And, and first Bueller. Oh, Ooh, yeah. yeah. Like, oh. like uh, so uh, uh. I kind of miss that. Yeah, I guess it might have been cheesy, but it was, I don't know. It made me feel good about the song. So. Right. I don't mm-hmm. know. I kind of miss that a little so, bit. So I do, too. I guess, I guess the question is, is there anything, I mean, they don't even do that anymore. No, like. It seems like. There's, there's not a lot of lyric songs like there's not a, there's not a lot of montages which is where it comes from mostly and they just change the style of movies mm-hmm. so they don't have those anymore and um yeah yeah, yeah it's more change. orchestral yes than it is yes. anything i mean well you can't hear jungle boogie without thinking of pulp fiction yeah see right like, ter- oh, mm-hmm. no, ter- we're talking ter- 90s now, different though. love yeah, actually yeah. Yeah, like I well, think the, the, that is true. Tarantino, he he still does a little yeah. bit. Yeah, he puts lyrics in his movies. So now, have y'all seen Django yet? Not yet. It's on my hard drive. Oh. It's yeah, good. It's one of those that we pirated. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like we did it. Hey, <laughs> me too. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to talk to you, Reggie, after this, man, because because <laughs> th- there's one, the one that has a little um the the young I guess African kid or the black kid in it. I don't remember the name of it. It was a movie that oh. got got um, nominated. But but this time, mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. Um. Oh, the um girl. She's the youngest girl to ever be nominated. Yeah, right. For I know what you're talking about. An and Oscar. It's something Southern. Right. And and it might very well be in my uh, torrent client right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. What the. So yeah, the Tarantino thing. I thought today actually, you know, um, black president being inaugurated. Mm-hmm. Milk Day. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Milk Day. <laughs> Milk day. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I thought today would be a good day for Django, but Dana had to work today, so. Yeah. Well, yeah. I love me some Tarantino. Well, I do too. You'll love Django What's, then. Where are we yeah. at? Media? You'll love Django. What section are we on? What's the yeah. media? Yeah. I'll, t- I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. I'm sure I'm going to love it. I mean, he hasn't disappointed me. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to watch that with you guys. You all would laugh so much. So yeah. it's, it's great. So. <laughs> I right. love that Christopher Valks too, man. That guy is oh the bomb. My God, he was my favorite part of the movie. Did you see that thing on the internet where he's humping things? No, but no. I must see that now. <laughs> he does like a troll low guy, humping. but he's like humping like a lamp. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nope. Is that it? It's oh, he's like young. Oh, it, it's a young Christopher Waltz, right? Looks yes. Like oh, and he's humping things. Der humping. It's brilliant. Der, der humping. Okay. All right. That's it. Yeah. That's cool. It. Well. Um, Get your tea ready or whatever you need to curb your appetite because we're about to get into a little bit of. The fridge is not prepared. Uh, See, I'm in that bumper. You are. No, you're. (laughs) You are a belch. That does not count. (laughs) Hey, it's a sound. You you did belch. I mean, it's a stepping stone, but we need to get your voice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so we want to give you all our weight loss update for week number 29. Yep. So we've been doing this whole lose it thing for yeah. 29 weeks now. Yep. This is week 29. It is 29, doing. right? Yes. I changed nice. this. Nice. Okay. I changed. Let me let me double check, but I'm pretty sure I changed the um, date from last week because I'm awesome. Yep. So uh, while she's yeah. checking week, it. Week 29. Um, I... Do you have me over here first? Yeah. So this past week I lost 1.2 pounds for Yay. a total of 73 pounds. And yeah. Renee? I have lost 1.6 pounds for a total of 73.4 pounds. Yay. Nice. Yay. Yes. I am getting closer and closer to my goal, and I'm so excited. Do you know now I am set to reach my goal before Nertacular? 
That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So we'll Good see if that for happens. You. We'll yep. see. Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah. And I did get the frog pants total. Um, the frog, um, frog pants Danic crew has a challenge on lose it. Um, it has 235 people in it, and um, everybody's trying, tr- trying to get healthy, trying to do b- better for themselves. And right. we have lost a total of 2,201.1 pounds. Wow. So that's, that's 9.37 pounds per person yep. lost. So that's better than we ever been. So yep. con- congrats, guys. Good job. Keep it up. So, yeah. so Reggie, you probably saw me favoriting some of your pictures from Nerdtacular. Because <laughs> I was going back through them because I was trying to find a picture of OMF. And as I was going through, I found some of myself. And I was like, damn, I was oh big. Oh, my God. I looked at that. I was like... <laughs> oh my gosh because i you don't realize you're that big until you know you look back you're like oh crap yeah. you know yeah. yeah but the reason i started to lose weight was because i was pre pre a diabetic mm-hmm. and i did not want to get sick i was like i didn't i did not not want to be sick because of my weight that's i just can't allow that to happen so right. i decided to change it around and, and my deal was that i know i was getting older and that's the only thing that's been wrong with me my whole life. My doctors will always tell me, Jerry, you know, you're healthy, but the only thing's wrong with you, you're just fat. You know, you know that's, that's the way I said it. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say it that you know, That's how he said it. And then they will, they will remind me promptly, you're getting older. When you hit 40, it's going to be like a light switch. You know, you're gonna, it's going to be hard for you to drop the weight, you know. So, mm-hmm. yeah, no, what, what better time than when... We um, drove to Nertacular and we stopped in um, um, there to see Reggie. Mm-hmm. And we go to the grocery store and Reggie is rolling through Man, the grocery store. His like stride was like my like jog. I was like, and, Reggie. But <laughs> at, at that high altitude, I was struggling and yeah. sweating. To oh, keep up the air is so thin there. And I was like, I know my weight's not helping yeah. <laughs> at all. So it'll be interesting to see how it is when we go back. Yeah. So that's how we. You guys are a sexy inspiration really? to us all. <laughs> you, you all. Well, are we too. can't wait to have you come back. Yeah. I, I cannot wait to see you guys again. Yeah. For sure. Well, I I will have gained about fifty pounds probably. Well, you would have gained <laughs> fifty pounds of awesomeness, so I it's know. all right. <laughs> and I'm I'm starting to experience what you're talking about now with all this extra baby weight yeah, that I'm putting needs, on because I, I have a hard a time bit. breathing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a hard time not eating all the damn ice cream in the house. <laughs> I got an appetite on her. That is so funny. I'm taking like side bacon. Yeah. Um, and oh. Well, good for you guys. That's awesome. Yeah, thank, of you. yeah well, thanks. Thank it's thank amazing, you. actually. So, so. I think you guys will appreciate this, and and if if it sounds stereotypical, I'm assuming. So last week, after the show, or I think this weekend, I talked about getting a a, a grinder. No, wait a minute. No, I had I had already had a grinder. Yeah, we had the grinder. So we that had been that had been my week of grinding coffee, right? <laughs> so I end up giving my old Folgers coffee away because. A whole I've been grinding my own beans. Okay, this is a whole huge Costco. Yeah, Costco thing of Folgers. Thing of Folgers. I did save some because you said you wanted some. Oh, you did? Okay. Yes, I saw. I did save you some. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I've been grinding beans, and then last week, um, I was, somebody somebody was talking about me French pressing. I was like, I would never French press because that's too hoity toity, too hipperish for me. Um, Strumpet, our good friend there in Colorado as well. Um, she saw me say that, and I said I gave, I showed her a YouTube video of a guy French pressing coffee, and it was very meticulous. And she was like, "I'm gonna make you a video of me French pressing coffee. I'm gonna show you how easy it is." And so she made this video. Halfway through the video, she found out she had an extra French press and said she'll send it to me. And she made it so she made it seem like it was so simple, and and the French press arrived. And I can say now, I think for the past three days, I've been French pressing coffee in the yes, morning. Yes, and, and, and he feels, and, and see, now he can't go back to... I don't know. I think I can go back to the drip. You can go back to drip? Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure I can. But it, it does taste differently. 
it's very um strong i don't know if you've ever had it reggie or dana but it's very potent are, are you are you all coffee connoisseur are you tea connoisseur? we've secretly replaced cowboys hipster french press with folgers crystals <laughs> <laughs> that's we should definitely try that i'll, I'll french you press should. some folgers and see what happens you, should. you know what i should do that too french see press what happens. folders yep so so are y'all tea or coffee or just, you know? I'm neither? mostly tea because coffee is really strong for me. Yeah. I'm a lightweight when it comes to anything. Right. <laughs> Drugs, alcohol, <laughs> you name it. I'm a lightweight. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a, yeah, I'm a tea drinker, but I love the smell of coffee, and I love having a, a cup of coffee once in a while if Reggie makes it for me because he, he does it up nice with just the right amount of Milk and sugar for mm-hmm. me. <laughs> hey, hey, I, hey, I still gotta have my milk and sugar because that's just the way I like it. Yeah, I know? don't. I can't yeah. do black. I just. Yeah. Uh, I can do black if I have to. Like, why yeah. would you ever have to though? If I don't have cream and sugar. How would you not have cream and sugar? I'm, I, I'm just saying. Just, you know. <laughs> and you gotta have it. You gotta have it. Right. And you don't that's have true. milk and sugar. <laughs> you gotta make do. Right. So so. So I know I know you're chilling with a, a sleepy time tea right now, Dana. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying, and everything. <laughs> um. So what what big in the food? I mean, what what's been going on 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 that end? Because I know you guys do it up for Thanksgiving and everything else. So what what else you all got going on? Oh, you guys should have been here. Yeah. Oh no. What oh, is it? It was ridiculous. We fried <laughs> one. We roasted one. Oh, turkey. Duck. There was a ham and a couple other animals. Oh, my right. gosh. Well, it, I've, I've really enjoyed it living up here in the mountains because, well, the guys are like, it, there's ten guys for every girl up here. But what's cool is all these guys know how to cook. And oh, so I awesome. rarely get to cook, but um, these guys are always trying different recipes. And so whenever we have gatherings, we always have so much food. But it's always so much fun because there's always, you know, new dishes to try. Right. But yesterday we had a friend um, said he was making lasagna, and uh, but he didn't head out until like 5 o'clock to go get all of his mati- mats for it. And I, mats, you know, she says. little I know. With me, I couldn't wait <laughs> for lasagna, so I made Reggie take us to um, my favorite uh, Chinese restaurant in town, mm-hmm. which was delicious. But, um, yeah, <laughs> but she didn't get Pregnant lady <laughs> had to have Chinese, man. Yeah. What, what's Chinese your, is legit. What, what, what is your Chinese dish of choice? Man, at this place Ooh. right now, we, we go to Henry's. And Everything they make like is so beef there. Orange beef. I've been getting into their lettuce rolls. Mm-hmm. Their love, lettuce wraps are oh, awesome. And their, their wontons, their, oh, I their, love their egg wontons. rolls are just better than any I've ever had ever. So next time you guys come up, if you like Chinese, we're taking you there. We love I Chinese. love dumplings. Ugh. I love lo mein. I love lo mein. Oh. I'm big in a lo mein. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I have okay. a funny story about, about this particular restaurant. Real quick, um, speaking of our nephew that Reggie mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. when they came up to visit us one spring break a couple years ago, Reggie was talking to Jared about um, Yelp and what it was to write a review. Well, while we were there, there was a woman that rage quit. What? And uh, he got to experience this woman swearing and throwing the F word out. And, and then she jumped in her car. And, and the, the restaurant sits on a corner, so it's like two walls of, of window. But she jumped in her vehicle and she stormed away. And everybody was just, like, stunned. And it's not a very big place. But he wrote a very... A very good review. It was his very first one, and he talked about all the fine points of, of eating in a restaurant, you know, mm-hmm. um, proper service, you know, it was quick service, um, the food was hot, uh, refilled our drinks in a timely fashion, mild violence. And <laughs> <laughs> mild violence. I love that. That is awesome. It's just thrown in there. Mild violence. That is awesome. Everything awesome. That's great. A series of... of compliments are describing what the experience was like but mild violence was <laughs> that <laughs> that was awesome, awesome. I, can't, I can't go to into that restaurant without thinking about the the mild violence and i wonder how many other people have read his review <laughs> that is hilarious that is great mild violence yeah that's something i, I would have to ask about like what yeah definitely so uh 
Let's uh, get into uh let's, let's 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 play a little bit of Mr. Tebow Johnny <laughs> Feisty. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's feisty, right? Yep, that's T- Reggie. That is Tebow, that's Tebow himself. himself. That is awesome. That's amazing, dude. Yep. We still need to get that oh. group. Oh, sorry, we still need to get that group going. We do. Um, Reggie probably hasn't heard our song. Have you oh, heard wait. our song, yeah. Reggie? And again, huh? <laughs> Say again. <laughs> our boy band. Yeah, oh. our boy band. Oh my gosh. It, right. Oh yeah, yeah. It was you and was Randy in it too? Yeah, Randy was in it. Yeah. It was Feisty, it was myself, <laughs> Reggie. Was Jeff in it? Jeff wasn't in it cuz it has to be American. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, and we called the name of Southern Comfort. Tag. Southern Comfort. That was Southern your... Comfort was the tag. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, so here we, here we go. This is the song that that Johnny did for, you know he's doing the personalized songs. So here's the one he did for us. <laughs> Janae, this is the song I wrote for you, just for you. Now I know it's a little bit short, but I suppose it'll have to do. What you gonna do? So enjoy your song, Janae. Next time I'm getting you potatoes. <laughs> it's Janae's song. <laughs> Yeah. That's our song. <laughs> so, so if you ask him, he'll he'll totally make you one. It goes so freaking deep, man. <laughs> that is mind boggling right there. And I have to apologize too. I have to apologize too if uh people that that beginning was very loud. So Jay did not come prepared. I didn't I, I was not prepared for that. So <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> um so Today, Scott Johnson announced yes, the date first. for Nerdtacular 13. It is official, everyone. It is official, official. Deposits have been paid. Yep. Pages have been signed. Dates and are July 5th and July 6th. Two days this year, folks. Yep. Two, two days of awesomeness. You ever, you ever dreamed of wanting to play Munchkin with Tom Merritt? Yes, he said this. I was like, no, not really, but <laughs> I would love to come to Nerdtacular anyway. Um. So we're going to get there on Wednesday yeah, and leave on Sunday. But the big question that people want to know in the chat room, they ask, will Reggie and Dana be there? <laughs> I know part of the question, which I'm really sad. Probably. Well, July. Hey, that helps us. I thought it was June. No, so was July, July 5th, 5th and 6th. 6th. Yeah, that helps. Really? That's awesome. Well, we got this grommet coming. Right. Right. May okay okay so, so so do you have someone who would keep him or her? Oh, he can come. Well, well some her. people might not want to bring. Or be Melly, Mrs. Melly, and Baby Melly. Yeah, Baby Melly. <laughs> really? Aw, I know there are some people who don't like to take their baby out that yeah. soon, but that sounds amazing. Yeah. That would be so great. This ain't just some baby. Yeah, yeah. this is true. This is a super baby. So if you all come, I will be so freaking excited. You have yep. no idea. There's going to be so many sexy, newly thin people there. There's going to be orgies <laughs> like every night. I know. I mean, Reggie Reggie has kept his clothes on for the past, what, two or three Nertaculars? Well, no, he had, he had his shirt yeah. off of, had his shirt with, with off. OMF and yeah. I this past year. So maybe maybe pants will come off this coming Ma- year. Maybe I'll be able to take my shirt off this time. It won't, it won't be all the way pretty like Reggie, but <laughs> it'll be presentable. <laughs> a, a little I'm bit. Pretty. <laughs> yeah. So pretty. Um. Yeah. Or is it a snowbird still? Yes. Yeah, it's still a snowbird. Yes, it's a snowbird, man. and the rooms look great. I mean. And oh, you you have a friend there, I, I, if I recall, right? I do have a friend mm-hmm. there. I have an amigo who was. Uh, he worked the help desk out here, and he's like a. I don't know everything out there, desktop network support, etc., for the resort. So. Did you were you guys there? He he came yeah, down. No, yeah, there. yeah, he yeah. came to the pizza place. Yeah, yeah, we saw him. Yeah, Charles yeah. Glick. If yeah, you, yeah, if yeah, yeah, yeah. The Jewish guy. Cool. The, the Jewish, Jewish guy. guy. Troll bridge, bridge troll. <laughs> right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> Jeff so said really that is Melly wasn't fantastic keeping his clothes on with Dana. Apparently, he wasn't keeping his clothes on with Dana. That's what Jeff. The Bronco giving you grief in the chat room. 
Jeff said, apparently you weren't keeping your clothes on with Dana. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, that sounds awesome. I would love to see you guys. <laughs> well, well, yeah. <laughs> I would love to see you guys. That would be no, yeah. No, it's oh. a my family reunion. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Well, that's cool. As, as, that that makes me so happy now. And and we we're, we're arriving on the third. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, the third is when we're showing up. And you can check in early if you want to, folks. Just want to let you know. Um, people are typically gonna get there on Thursday, but we're different. Well, so we get there a day early. Yeah, people. Most people show up on the fourth and everything. Um, It'll depend on how much uh, PTO time Reggie will have left. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> right. true. Yeah. He's going to yeah. use a little ton of it yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. person. Yep. <laughs> we have some birthdays. Yep. And um, so this week in birthdays, um, Renee, go ahead. Okay. We have um, one birthday this week, but last week we, we didn't have two. talk. We have another one that I, I, I need really? to say. Oh, darn. Okay. So last Friday was quoted Nevermore's birthday, and we met her last Nertacular. She's mm-hmm. a crafter. She made uh, some necklaces out of a uh, 20-sided dye. Mm-hmm. dye. So, uh, yeah, and, she's awesome. So her uh, birthday was last And there Friday. was another birthday on Saturday. What birthday was on Saturday? It was Bacon missed? Way, Barb. Oh. Oh, we, that's right. Oh, and it was Barb. Barb's birthday. And Barb right? is in the chat room today. Hi, and you Barb. know what we do for people that show up that had a birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Bacon Way. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. There you go. <laughs> So um, that that happened on Saturday. Yes, that was Saturday. Um, I didn't know, and I think a lot of people didn't know what? that it was her birthday. Yes, she kept it quiet. Yep, she kept it quiet until she, till I saw on Twitter, mm-hmm. which I admit I haven't been very active on Twitter lately because I've been so busy. Right. But I happened to see. She said, "Is it okay if I wish myself a happy birthday?" <laughs> I was like, I was like, yes, it's okay. You know, it's everybody's your birthday. But happy birthday! <laughs> you didn't know. Awesome. You we know. love you, Barb. Aww. We do. We do love her. And as a birthday present, Reggie is finally going to post her episode she did with uh, Reggie at Nerdtacular. Yes, <laughs> that's awesome. She's thinking about you, Bacon Way. All right, that's awesome. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I, I, I'm excited about. I'm excited for that morsel. The more so. The honey. I'll be waiting mm-hmm. for it. Mouth mm-hmm. yeah, is watering. Um, you know what happens. You <laughs> work in a political campaign, then you get married, then you have a kid, and your podcast right. just goes. <laughs> yep, yep. And Barb, sorry. you're on deck, I swear to God. <laughs> It'll be before Nertacular 13. <laughs> yes, yep. It'll be less than a year between recording and posting. Yes, that's right. Um, and uh, also this Saturday is the man with the awesome last name Eric Van Skyhawk's birthday is this Saturday. Yep. So happy birthday. Cool happy Eric. birthday. Yeah. And um Chris Clements. Chris Clements. His birthday is on Sunday. Uh this is a coworker of Jay's. He's pretty awesome. He plays wow. Yep. And he lives he actually recently relocated to Denver. Yep. So what? lots yep. of awesome people live in Colorado. Yep. yep. Oh. So. Represent. Hey, by the way, quoted Nevermore must have made the um, twenty-sided die keychain that I have. I did she make the? That's from AIE. I, know I don't. AIE. I don't know if she made it or not. It's so she might have made it. So if you're still in the chat room, do you know? If, no, um, Soph left. Okay, she never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but she uh, might have. But yeah, she makes awesome crafts, and she's going to be there again this year. Yep. Um, yeah. So she's pretty cool. All right. Well, let's get to. Uh, Oh, do y'all have any odds and ends? Like, is there anything that didn't fit in those categories you would like to just bring up and talk about? And you'll get, and you'll also get final last words and everything. Yeah, else. yeah, yeah. This is just. But this is just general, general news stuff. Oh, Reggie, Dana, this yeah. is Renee wanted me to ask, and we wanted to know 
Are you guys registered anywhere? Oh yeah. Are you registered? And if you're not, and don't what give do us you the. Need? No one, no yeah. one gives us yeah. presents. No one gives us. You don't give us presents or anything <laughs> like that. Hundred dollar stroller right now. So hundred dollar so, stroller. So where are you registered at? Amazon. Amazon. Right, awesome. Okay. Under, and, whose name? Like, and, and whose name would that be under? Dana, it's both of us. Dana actually. set it up. It's probably like okay, it's awesome. just our first time. Reginald Batusik and Dana Bags. Real okay. fancy. Big fat <laughs> wedding registry. We'll no. send you a link if, Baby. if some, somebody actually cares. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll send you a link. Send yeah, a link. that'd be awesome. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, because I was like, I, I want to give them something. I was like, well, if they say don't give us anything, they're they're getting diapers. But now that you have a list, I can get you something amazing. Oh, you're sweet. Well, you know, you start looking at the, you know, how it stacks up. Oh, it's a lot of money. You have to get, and uh, we'll take anyone's charity. Oh yeah, yeah. When um, I was shocked when a friend told me that a newborn baby goes through like twelve diapers a day, and it's what? (laughs) I don't even do twelve times a day. (laughs) Dana, my uh, my uh, my mom had twins at age thirty-eight. Okay, it they were a shock, a little bit of surprise. But yeah, she she went to twin sales and consignment stuff because they are expensive little buggers. Right. So yeah, so uh, but that's awesome. Yay, Amazon. Yeah, I'm Sweet looking. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking up. I see, I see Dana's here, but this is from 2006 and 2008. Yeah, it's got some Pacino, um, Pacino and um, Shakespeare <laughs> stuff on it. Oh, and Barb Bar, Barb also wants your information for that too. By the way. So you can DM it to her or put it on Twitter. Like I said, family reunion. Yeah, yeah. Send us some. Oh, it's in a baby. Let me do baby. Baby. I I, I put wish. Yes. So we're going to be back in South Bend uh, in a week and a half or so. Oh, I found it. Here it is. Okay. I'm I'm, going to put it in the. Do you care if we put it in the show notes? Nah. Okay. And post it in the. We're going to put it in the show notes and we're also going to put it. And that's no pressure for anybody no. to buy anything, <laughs> but all right. So, so but but we're we are we are the ones that say if somebody wants to get you a gift, just let, just let them get you a gift. gift. <laughs> so so you're gonna be in South Bend. What? Yeah, we're gonna meet oh, up with them. Oh yeah, we are. Earlier, and I, and and yeah. yeah, and I got it all mapped out. I'm going to this uh, going to this one Thai place downtown. Gonna hit Five Guys. Gonna mm-hmm. hit yeah. White Castle, right? You know mm-hmm. what I'm talking about? Right, okay. right, right. Oh, oh, yeah. We have White Castle here. Oh, man. I wish we had a White people? Castle out here. Yeah, I haven't, we haven't been to White Castle in over a year. So, wow. Mm. That's my odd and end. That, that's an White amazing Castle. odd and end. I like that the best. Yeah. All right. Mm. Let's get to a little bit of a uh, podcast of the week. Podcast of the week. Of course. We're going to mention your podcast, of, of course. course. That is our main podcast of the week yep. this week. Um, so, podcast of the week, um, we have two. Mm-hmm. One, um, we have our special guest yes. from the Shakespeare Sound, mm-hmm. ministryofshakespeare.com. Check them out. You can find them on iTunes. Yep. You, can, you, know, you can hook up to their feed on their site as well. Um, that is like liquid gold yeah. dana's amazing talent uh, yep. she, she verbal gold How's verbal, that? verbal gold verbal gold oh, you guys <laughs> sorry i really love y'all's podcast i'm sorry yep. it's great yeah it's wonderful so yep. um well, we'll keep doing it then just based on that <laughs> i was glowing before uh-huh. um and then our other podcast we want to mention is um a, a reboot mm-hmm. done by none other than jeppy himself yep um, named Wildcast. Wildcast. Wow. Um, Wildcast. Um, for those that may um, that may have listened to Wild Podcast a few years back, was like, man, was there a podcast done by Alachia named that? Yes, it was. And she has handed over the reins of the podcast to Jeppy, mm-hmm. and he is now doing interviews of of individual Wild players and 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 just seeing how they play Wild yep. a little a little bit. So. Um, you can find that at thewildcast.blogspot.co.uk, mm-hmm. um, and then you can also follow them. I think it's Wildcast on Twitter. Okay. And um, you guys, I think your Twitter is. Um, sh- um, well, 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 well. We can just say, hey, 
Reggie and Dana. Okay, yeah. If you would like people to know more about you or get in contact with you, what can they do? Yep. Yeah, I guess we're at the, you know what? Here, let's do this real quick. Let's do this. Here we go. You have, have, you have to have Reggie say, so Dana. All right, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. There must be a, a world wherein uh, <laughs> listeners might want to reach out and establish digital contact between uh, themselves and the producers of this fine <laughs> specimen of uh, audio entertainment. <laughs> yeah. We're out there. The Shaky Sound is our Twitter handle. And you got, I'm the Meliana on the Twitters. Mm -hmm. We're out there. Baby uh, Melly Peach is Mini Me's little mm -hmm. Twitter. Oh, yeah. She nice. tweets periodically. So, when so. She's not, when she's not kicking Dana. Oh, so it's a she? See, I didn't even know that. It's a girl. Oh, oh yeah, that's a We didn't know that. That's, that's a, a big oh, audience. Oh, 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 you know, I was going to ask amazing. that as I was looking through your list. I was like, huh. Is there a lot of girl stuff on there? It's a girl. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Congrats, guys. Congratulations. So, Reggie, did you lose your shit? Yeah, like, he did. Like, I did. I got what I wanted, so. My he, daughter is going. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. I love that. Congratulations. Aww. Yeah. Okay. But. So, that's that's how you can reach. That's how you can reach them. Reggie and then. And so, please reach out to them. Yeah, awesome. definitely. And, Renee, how can they get a hold of us? Oh, music. Yeah, I can't do the music yeah, because sorry, it, it I was waiting was... for it. I was like, oh, if you want to reach us, if you want to write us, tell us how awesome Dana and Reggie's pod, uh, podcast was for us. And if you want to okay. write us to say farewell, oh, fare thee well, we're going to go well. wait on bated breath for another episode of Shakespeare Sound. We understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you have to leave us. But you can email us <laughs> at thevalentinecast at gmail.com. And if you want to see our blog, it has all the show notes and everything. And you should go there to check it out uh, because my sister, I put her picture uh, up on the main podcast for last week. So it's awesome. Uh, our blog is at valentinecast.com. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put that in the show notes because it was awesome. Um, and if you uh, want to tweet us, the podcast Twitter feed is valentinecast. If you want to call us, you can call us at 415-75-VCAST. That's 415-758-2278. Video can be seen at YouTube.com slash ValentineCast. My Twitter feed, Jay, um, is the Cowboy T-H-E-C-A-O-B-O-I. And if you'd like to reach Renee's Twitter, you just go to The Ice Flow, T-H-E-I-C-E-F-L-O-W. I want to say thank you to Pretty Lights Music for allowing us to use their music for our intro and outro. You can find those guys at prettylightsmusic.com, and they also are a Colorado connection. Yes. Of course, Reggie knows oh, about yeah. that. They've mm -hmm. been up here um, forever. They've been on an amazing show. Yep. Come out. Let's see them together. Yep. And um, They're uh, awesome. Like, they're that good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Reggie and Dana. It's been an amazing show. Amazing show. Thank I couldn't you. ask for a better one. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. You guys are precious and dear to our hearts. Thank you so much for having us. Aww. I hope it's listenable. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's Oh, it will be. And the love is all flowing from us to you. All right. <laughs> Thank you. And it's, it's going to be a it's going to be a short outro cuz I'm not going to play the whole song since okay. I can't play it yeah. and and then I, we'll talk to you guys on the other side and just Let me know how you like Les Mis. All right. Okay. Well, well, don't leave yet. Don't leave off Skype yet. Don't worry. All right. All right. Thank you, chat room, for hanging Bye, with us tonight. Room, amazing. Thanks, everybody. Aw, no problem. Hey, Jay, will you put the Valentine cast uh, link in Skype so 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 Dana and Reggie can see the picture of Kim? Sure. My sister went to a themed party late 80s, early 90s. She freaking nailed it. And she's 26, so she doesn't remember this I'll crap. just give them the link so, to the... Wow. 
Yeah. I'll give him the lead. Even born yet. I know. Oh. She was uh, born in, well, she was born, but she was a, a toddler. She was 85. She was born. So, um, yeah, but she nailed it. Like, she called us and asked for advice because, of course, she didn't know. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so so we told her all the stuff in the 90s. And we'd be like, oh. Oh, my God, girl. <laughs> Isn't it good? Yeah, that's That is awesome. schmexy, dude. That is so, like, she got the sheer top and the gold. Yeah, she's, like, she's got yeah, a Paula yeah. Abdul feel about her. She's yeah. like Master Blaster. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Master Blaster. So, and those leggings, she found those in a modern store. At Forever 21. <laughs> Forever 21. I was like, how? I was like, they sell those? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Have you noticed all the neon that's coming yeah, back and yeah. appearing in stores these days? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All the neon it's, colors? Yeah, yeah, I have. And I was like, I had some polyester shorts neon. <laughs> That is awesome! I'm excited yeah. for you. I'm, I'm looking through y'all list right now. I should, you know what? They had like they had a sweet ass infant seat on sale at Costco. Oh my gosh! Hold I wish on. We had, maybe it's still there. But I mean, it, it's not on sale anymore, is it? Probably. No, it, it, it's still on sale. But well, hold on. Let me let me let me let me like, show this to you guys. This real infant quick. seat was the bomb and it was on sale and it was great unless unless you want the one that's on the yeah show it to on, them, on the so on the website see it. let's see yeah we're just like overwhelmed you know we have people mm-hmm. telling us oh you need this and you need that and we're like all right okay all right. you know because you have think no about it, clue <laughs> what it is think about it when when like you were a kid like okay i have to admit i am i am not into the thing where they cover the high chair and the buggy and all that i mean it's fine if people are into it, but I'm just like, uh, tons of kids didn't have that, and we turned out okay. But yeah, I, I I understand that people want that, but I, that's something I would not include. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna give you the link. I'm just gonna give you the link to Costco's car seats. I can't remember which one it was. Hold on, I can probably remember because I because I remember the baby that's on there. Send me the link, babe. Oh, okay. And I'll I'll see if I can find uh, it. But they had a really nice, yeah. It was right so, uh, when we walked in, and I was like, Because huh. Kevin might have it at his, too. So Yeah, he's he's much closer to uh, the Costco. Because he's, he's, well, he's not an eagle. He's an Edwards, right, Reggie? Yeah, he's an eagle. Oh, he's an eagle? Yeah, yeah. I, I give him crap. Yeah, that's where the Costco is. Yeah, I'd love to be able to get there more often. Girl, let me take yeah. you to Costco. I think it, yeah, I think f- it was one of the even flow ones. I comfort. Was <laughs> we put that on the back burner, man. We gotta get oh that. Thing I don't out. know what happened that day. I think. <laughs> I think it's uh one of the even flow ones. I can't remember which one though. Huh. All right, chat room. Nice. We're gonna. I'm gonna stop yep. the feed. All right, guys. It's getting late. Um. Yeah. But um, you thank all you all for showing for up. Thank you. And um, we'll talk to you later. I'll have it up here tonight, though. Um, for oh. those that may not get to see on, so. Um, and good night, you all. Bye.